Hi, my name's Emily. Today I'm back to share what I completed in January. If you have seen my other video, you would know that I had completed Project 1, which was completing our holiday album from last September. I just wanted to quickly show the five layouts that I completed in January in more detail. So the first one is this one, Life's a Journey. I used um, Dorothy from Scrapbooking Quebec, her, one of her layouts as an inspiration to do this one. And it's just using strips of paper with mimicking the the tickets so these strips are two and a half by eight and it used just a circle punch to um, create the edges here as you can see i also used my embossing folder as well on this um, strip here And I just finished it off with um, a few cogs and things for representing like the mechanical side of this layout. The next one is the Kilkeven Bush Camp. This would have been a page maps inspired uh, sketch using um, Simple Stories Safe Travels collection and some of the embellishments from Simple Stories as well. I think it's the Travel Notes collection. The next one is Road Trip Good for Two or More People at Kenilworth. I just wanted to just try and keep it simple and I just used leftovers to create this layout. This is a double page spread, Stand Down Park. It is following an Alison Davis from Scrapbook Generation sketch using the 6x6 papers, which is something that I really enjoy doing. I also did a lot of die cutting towards the end of this project just to um, get matching elements for the layouts. This is the last one which is Home Sweet Home. This sketch came from a set of sketches from Christie's Beautiful Life. It would have been the September round. I just loved the cascading um, layers and I just also used a lot of hearts. I think the um, original sketch may have had stars instead but I've used hearts in this one so I'll just show you this this is my notebook where I'm keeping a track of everything so this is project one as you can see it's all complete now 
and I have listed all the layouts. So I have four project two. So there's the remaining layouts on this page and here. So there's 18 layouts from 2021 that I still need to um, scrapbook and I'd like to think that I would be maybe three quarters of the way by the time I get to March. I don't expect to complete all these layouts in that time frame but if I can get a good amount done I, I will be happy. So I'll also show you this. This is my spending log. I decided that I would give myself a little reward for completing the project, project one. And as long as it wasn't paper. So it could be a tool or it could be embellishments. So let me just show you what I decided to treat myself with. I have been using a lot of rhinestones and pearls lately on layouts and I had been running low on the on the smaller ones so I bought two packs and I also saw these which are like plastic flowers and hearts so I did get a variety of colours so I've got the white and the grey ones the pink the green and the blue and this is something that I do not have in my stash already but I do have the blue and the pink hearts that I had bought some time ago which are larger so I've just pulled them out so I can keep it with these to remind myself that I have these to use in my stash so the other layouts that I have completed is this one which was um, a challenge in the low or no spend Facebook group which is run by Scylla and the whole group built a page kit and we just all did a layout from it so I've got the wood grain here the gingham the brads toilies key and I think they had leaves but I don't have a leaf die but so I just use the the embellishments that I or the die cuts that I did have uh, to create this layout and I actually scrap book scrap lifted myself to create this layout so I'll show you this one what, what it, the original layout was is this one from 2020 and I am pretty sure that this inspired me from Janet from RTS on her base pages video I think she showed this um, layout The last layout I have to show is this one, which is from the Rainbow Challenge from Jeannie Linguini on YouTube. And the colour for the month was white. And I will say that it was quite challenging to do an all white layout just to get the colours to match 
and still have um, the layout looking good. So the flowers I fussy cut were leftovers from this layout and I just added some die cuts too. I still have to do the journaling. Um, I still got details on here that um, is enough to put it away, like with the, the date and um, what this picture means to me. I felt blessed and to remember the days that made your heart full. So for February, it is slow going. I am going to really have to try and um, find some inspiration. I have got a counterfeit kit that I have put together that I've got to do a video on. And I have already got a layout in mind to get me started. It's just... It's just doing it now. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the layout shares. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.